Hey guys, so today is the uh, 8th of April, Friday. We'll do an Ethereum, Ethereum analysis, technical analysis, because basically, you know, I care about Ethereum more than Bitcoin these days. I mean, Bitcoin is supposedly the driver of the market, but uh, Ethereum is showing some strength. If you look at the Ethereum versus versus Bitcoin on the weekly chart. So each candle is one week. So um, we, we kind of broke to a high and high here. So we are not no longer downtrending on the weekly. Um, you know, maybe we're looking for a lower high on the monthly here. So each candle is one month, but uh, we're up. We're, we're not downtrending on the weekly and we are uptrending on the daily so and we are above this uh, blue line which is the weekly 21 EMA and we are above the green line which is the weekly 8 EMA so it's bullish versus the Bitcoin right this is bullish for Ethereum so it's better to look at Ethereum I like Ethereum more I mean Bitcoin is kind of just a niche kind of gold digital gold thing so it doesn't really do anything but ethereum has much more application it is a technology it has lots and lots of applications like decentralized finance like betting and like i mean i mean it's just a decentralized computer basically computing power that you can use however you like so it's much more interesting than bitcoin even though bitcoin is really really nice uh Invention and is an invention the best invention probably in the last you know 20 years, maybe more than that. So, best invention since internet, maybe. So, anyways, uh, let's have a look. Uh, what, what, what are we looking here on Ethereum? Um, um, you can see here this is blue line showing the weekly 21 EMA, so that's that's pretty key. We're above the 20, 20 EMA. 21 in May, so hold on a second, I'm just gonna open something real quick here on the other side. So um, this is daily view and you can see we're kind of uptrending and now we broke the uptrend. This was the higher low here. We broke the 8 EMA down as well, so that's also uh, not a good sign. But we are we did bounce so far from this uh, weekly 21 EMA, which is uh, very nice. So let's have a look at the monthly first. Right? Let's have a look at the monthly. So monthly, monthly we got uh, this pump here. We got high low at uh, 1672 around there, 161700. Then we get to higher high, almost 5000 here, and then we. We're trying to make this a higher low, so monthly. So we can say monthly is uptrending, right? Monthly is uptrending. We had this massive dump for two months, uh, which cooled down our RSI, so we're no longer overbought on the monthly, which is uh, which is key. Here. Which is key here. You can remember we we were overbought here as well, and then we had a bear market. So. Um, it's pretty key here that we are now above the 8 EMA on the monthly, this green one, and, and we want to stay above it. You know, we don't want to come down and test this 2000 level anymore. I mean, this is the line in the sand, this, this 2000 level. Uh, we must stay above it uh, for the, you know, for, for us not to be in the bear market kind of territory. So. So that's the monthly. Uh, there is, uh, I'm gonna turn on my drawings. Oh, wait, that's not the drawings here. So my chart. So I've done a fib retracement, so retracement from the top here to the bottom. And you can see this 0 0.5 level, that's where we so far we have rejected from. But this last candle here uh, is like forming like a doji like an indecision candle at the top, which is uh, kind of bearish. So, um, <laughs> Sorry, I'm just gonna write it down. Uh, 
so as we're going up, we're forming this decision candle. So this that means it gives a pause to the bulls. It means um, it gives some concern. It doesn't mean it's bearish yet, but it it it, it, it gives us something to think about here, right? So um, we got that. We got uh, RSI is cooled off, so that's a positive. We're rejecting from the 0 0.5 fibs there. Um, what else we got? We got uh, above the 20, we bounced off the 21 EMA. So I'm going to turn around the 21 EMA here. So this purple line is the 21 EMA. We bounced off it. So that's, that's good that it's acting as support. We definitely very, very key to stay above it. Also, so I'm going to just turn it off. Um, volume looks okay. You can see that the volume on the bounce is not too small, you know. It's not smaller than the dump bounce. The dump bounce looks a bit smaller. So this is also a good thing. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's pretty much all that I can see for the monthly chart here. Um, and I mean, maybe the other thing you can look at is only this area here that we kind of bounced above it. So this, this monthly area at about 2,700. 2,600 to 2,800 is an area that uh, got a bit of a, uh, you don't want to close below it basically. You don't want to close below it because uh, what happened was we tested it over here, then we rejected, then we smashed through it. Now we came back and we haven't closed on the monthly below it. So um, that's a, uh, that's a, uh, it's a nice area to stay above in the monthly, right? So yeah, one second, I'm just gonna add this. Uh, so area, RS area, holding uh, E. So that area was about here from 2,800 to 200 to, to 650, let's say, right? To 650 here. Yeah. So we want to close that. We want to we want to close above that on the time. So all right, let's have a look at the weekly chart. Okay, so weekly chart. Let's take off the drawings. <clears throat> we are above the um, eight EMA. We are above the and one EMA, and we kind of starting to bounce here. Um, so this is this is kind of good. We want to keep holding that. We want to make sure that we are not falling the road. So that's basically key for us right now. And it's acting as a support. Um, and we want to hold that, right? We want to hold that. Um, so I'm going to take off, uh, take this one off for now. So we also had this uh, dump, right? And then we bounced, we set a higher low, and then now we're at a higher high. So we're uptrending on the weekly, which is very important. And now what we want to do is we want to hold this, uh, this zone here. Uh, let's see, this, this. This zone is pretty, looks pretty key, right? It's got the support over here. Kind of test it over here. So let's, uh, let's draw it like that. This, this, this zone is very, very important because look, we, we broke above it, consolidated. You know, even over here, we couldn't come up to test it, but it wasn't important at that, at that time. And this zone became important after this level here. We broke kind of above it, tested below it, consolidated, had a bull break, came back, retested it, we didn't close below it, and then we had another uh, bull run. Came down, tested it, smashed through it, came back, rejected from it, again, 
and now we smash through it and now what we want to do is we want to confirm this zone as the uh, as the um, you know as a support so uh, rs zone from what is it from 3000 to 3150 3150 keep the hold basically so I'm just going to put this as a key to hold for the bulls. And it is acting as a support. So it's a positive, uh, it's a positive thing right now for the for Ethereum price here, right? For Ethereum price. The other thing is that this uh, buys at the moment are kind of holding it. Uh, we just want to make sure that we close this candle above above this level of uh what's the high here three two eight three so three two eight three we want to close above it and right now we're kind of trying to set a weekly another weekly high low it's, it's uh it looks like a you know it could be a, a weekly book plan so it's another positive if, if it is a weekly book plan, it is forming right now right and we don't want to break uh, the low here, which is the low of 3143. 3143. Uh, so we can write down uh, key to hold, key to hold 3143. And then we are still in a bull flag formation, right? So, yeah. That's right. Um, you can see here there was, well, this downtrend one, we'll, we'll talk about it when we. Daily. The other thing to look at is the is the RSI here. You can see RSI. We're kind of forming a like a falling wedge here, right? It's a it's wide over here and it's a falling wedge. But the, the thing to note here is that we come up to the resistance and we reject it. So so far we're kind of rejecting, not even touching the the, the line here a little bit. So it's not super exact. So I don't know. This trend lines up kind of hard to draw sometimes. So anyway, we reject it here. So that's a negative, uh, I guess. But that's why we have, we have this couple of days of it done. What else we're looking? We're looking that we have trending, so uptrend. That's good. We're, we're trying to look for higher low. Um, higher low. So. And the higher low could be here, right? This could be higher low. It doesn't have to be. We can drop down all the way to, you know, 2,000, 300, you know, and, and we can still set a higher low. So we've got a huge, huge, uh, the bulls have a, long, a lot to work here. So, yeah. If we look at the pips, we are. Trying to hold 0236 level. So 0236, that's your bull flag level that we want to hold. So yeah. Have to hold that, that's really good. Um, what else we got? We got so that's pretty much all I'm seeing on the weekly. I mean, once again, the bull, the bull volume is just seems fine. You know, there's there's no it's not too high, not too low. So doesn't tell us too much. It just tells us that this could be a real move, right? So let's go on the daily. What do we have on the daily here? Uh, what do we have on the daily here? On the daily here, we were uptrending. We were uptrending this kind of trend line here. I think I drew it on four hours, so it's not uh, perfect on the daily here, but as soon as we broke it, we had this massive follow through on increasing bear volume. So we have to be careful that this is a real breakdown and this breakdown happened after 22 days. So it's a pretty long trend line. So when it breaks down, that's, that's a key it's a key break there, right? You, you should have some at least some follow through, and we got about 7.6 percent from the top. How much did we have from the top? From the top, we had 
you know, 12% drop down. So it's pretty good. Percent. The other bad thing is that we dropped below the ADMA and we closed well below it and now we're coming up to test it. So uh, coming up to test it. Uh, I'm going to have to test it as resistance, so it's a negative thing. It's going to be acting as a resistance. Many people will try to uh, sell here or try to put, to uh, load up their um, shorts. So we need to be uh, a little bit careful here, right? On the daily, on the daily, the other thing I'm seeing on the daily is this uh, trend line on the other side, and so far we're holding it. So we're trying to bounce off it. So that's a positive. If we do break below it, then uh, yeah, it's going to be probably, you know, it could be like a bear. It could be, it could, this could still be a bear flag on the daily, right? Daily. So that's a negative. <clears throat> so daily could be a bear flag. Um, if we hold below this ATMA, if we, come up and close above the ATMA, then the bear flag goes out of the window pretty much. It's, uh, the bounce is too much, uh, too high after that. That's what I'm seeing. Um, so what else? We're not we're not uptrending and we're, we're not downtrending yet. We need to set a lower high. So the most likely scenario is we set a lower high somewhere. And then we start consolidating, right? Maybe something something like this, right, something like that, something like that, so we're going to start forming a tightening range here, so maybe going forward, if this, this is the most likely scenario for me right now, um, then we will, you know, there's, there's, there's a, this scenario just uh, forming a, this range, then we can set a high low, break bull, or we can break bear, right? Or we can keep going, tightening up like that. So there's three scenarios here, uh, pretty much. And we need to be ready for all of them, right? We need to be ready for all of them. You know, maybe this. Uh, you know, where, where, where is this lower high going to form? This is the key thing that we need to now look for. Um, lower high. And that lower high will let us know, you know, the very important point where it is and what we have to work with. If it, if it forms over here, then we're more bullish. If it forms right here, right now, then we're more bearish. If it forms over here in the middle, then you know we're kind of just in the middle and we don't know exactly we're not leaning bearish or bullish <clears throat> so after we form this low high then we will we will wait for these three scenarios to, to happen right which one and which one is it going to be and then we can we can go forward with that right so so yeah i mean we're not uptrending we got just to, to recap we got the daily ATMA broken the first time in, in 22 days and confirmed with bear follow through. And now it's coming back up to retest it. So that's bearish for us. Uh, we got the daily RSI. It's, uh, it was uptrending here, uptrending. And then look, it's, it formed a lower high and then boom, lower low. So it's now downtrending. So that's negative on the RSI. We're looking for a lower high on RSI as well, as well as the price action. So um, that's bad. Um, so the, the trend line also got broken after 22 days, so that's bad. We've got uh, the bear volume increase over here, so that's bad. Uh, so there's a lot of uh, negative signs. It could be a bear flag. Um, our side trend line support over here, that's a positive. So we've got, we got more negative. We've got one, two, three, four. 
five, six negatives, six negatives uh, have only like one positive pretty much over here, right? So yeah, that's daily for us. So daily, maybe we need to be more careful on just because so many bearish signals as opposed to bullish. Um, let's have a quick look on four hour. For now, we have this uh, kind of a falling wedge thing. We broke out of it. We came down quite low, almost retested the low, and now we went to set a higher high. So we're actually uptrending on the four hour. So that's good. That's good. We were down trending until until pretty much uh, you know recently we broke to the higher high. So that's a positive. ATMA also became a, you know, we broke above it and we're trying to hold it here. We still got uh, two hours, 20 minutes to go. So that's a long time, but we kind of bounced off it. So ATMA is now support. So that's a positive on the four hour. Um, RSI bounced from the oversold territory. And maybe soon it's going to come down to test this uh, trend line here. So we need to watch for that. Um, so we need to just watch that one. So that's what I'm seeing on the around the volume looks okay ish. Um, bear volume is obviously much higher than bull volume, but the bull volume is not <coughs> super low. We could still be in a bear flag here. So, yeah. We need to have more follow through for the bulls here. It will be much, much better. On some increasing volume, that would be. That's what bulls want to see. So, that's about it. I mean, we need to be cautious right now because we're no longer uptrending on every time frame. So we need to get our daily low high. And then the bulls hopefully want to set a higher low. And that would be a really nice entry point for, for the bulls. So I'm just going to write it down. The bulls grade entry is uh, daily high low, but that will take a time, but that will take some time. So, even if I try to kind of draw it, draw it out, you know, that's gonna happen 15 16 of April. You know, it doesn't have to be exact, but it could, have, it could happen 12 of April, you know. So, sometime next week. Sometime next week, uh, we, we're going to be looking, first we, we're going to set the low high, right? And then bulls are going to be looking for a high low to enter and establish swing positions and whatnot. So, yeah. For swing positions. So, that's pretty much all that I'm seeing on Ethereum. I mean, it uh, kind of follows Bitcoin, right? Uh, Bitcoin looks a bit more weaker. It actually does have a downtrend. Okay, so it actually has a downtrend on Bitcoin here. So that's not a good thing. Um, we need to, and it looks much weaker. The balance is much weaker. I think on the four hours, not uptrending. See, it's not uptrending. The four hour EMA is resistant. So Bitcoin looks much worse than. Ethereum at the moment. And obviously, we have to watch out for the SP 500 just because it has been so, has been so correlated. We had the uh, FOMC meeting the other day, and uh, it came out that FOMC that they want to, um, you know, shrink the balance sheet of the Federal Reserve by like 90 billion or something a month. They want to raise the rates, not even like not by 0.25. BP, but by 0 0.5 BP. So the market, this is the market's reaction right here on the announcement. We broke to lower low. 
then we have some volume behind it. Higher volume than on this um, boom move here. So we have to watch that. We did have a Caesar tweezer bottom here, so that's good on the day. And also um, on the monthly, we kind of had a tweezer bottom. Not really, but two long weeks. So anyway, we'll have to you know, get more information as it comes in for us. Uh, if the tightening uh, keep happening, then, you know, we're just gonna keep dropping down. And, uh, but we still got a long way to go to test out these lows here, which is about 8%, 9%. So um, the Fed will not be worried until we break down this 4,000, 100 level. When we break down the 4,100 level, then maybe the Fed will say, okay, we can't uh, tighten anymore. We have to, we might have to print because there is going to be massive panic uh, on the uh, in the markets, right? So anyway, uh, that's all I wanted to say. Balance, it looks good. Look at balance. What is this move here? A huge wall, 100% move. Wow. Yeah. Uh, quick gold. Gold, we, we had the war spike. Now we're just in a sideways motion. So actually, um, it would be interesting to watch gold. We're in a tightening range here. Very quick. I'm going to draw something. Hmm, and we kind of had a breakout on the 4 hour already. If we draw it like this, we have to, to body, body to body. We have a breakout on kind of increasing blue volume, and now we're forming a boof, boof, flag kind of thing. And yeah, if we break out here, then it could be, it's a nice entry for, nice entry for the um, gold box, basically. Yeah, very nice, very nice. And gold, you know, the uncertainty in the world right now with the war and all that. Uh, maybe, maybe this will make the gold go, keep going to 3,000. So Ethereum, we're looking for where the bulls are going to form the lower high. And obviously we're watching Bitcoin because um, Bitcoin still dominates 